Welcome to Cause Before Symptom. I'm your host, James Carner. With me is Russell Hype and Jay Colin Gould, the godfather of the sovereignty movement. Russell has been doing this since, I believe, the mid-90s, maybe earlier than that, and with his ex-partner, David Hyphen, Wynn, Colin Gould, or, uh, Miller. Colin Miller. Yeah. It's hard to get all of the syntax in there. Um, and they literally went up against the United States federal government and the CIA and even other secret agencies and went and took the Title IV battle flag from the Pentagon. And the story is just mind-boggling as Russell has gone deep even into the Vatican and underneath in their bunkers and spoke to the world leaders be like right before they took him and captured him and tortured him and tried to take away all of the things that he actually legally took from them. The story is absolutely amazing. And Russell's journey has been probably one of the most uh, treacherous, hardest, sad yet beautiful story I've ever heard in my life. And I'm always pleased to have Russell on the show. Welcome, Russell. Thank you for being here. It's an honor to be on your show today. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you so much, Russell. You know, just on a personal note, I know you're inter interested in in exotic metals, heavy metals, and, and, and stuff like that. Um, I'm hoping that one of these days you and I can do a little bit of panning together. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> hey, it's been a long time since I grabbed a dry pan, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, I got different techniques on that too. So. Well, that's why, cause I, I think you really do. And I think you could probably help me because dude, I, that's the hardest part is just the simple panning process of getting to the fines. That's, that's been like my hardest thing to figure out. Yeah, separating magnetics is something that I definitely specialize in. For sure. Awesome. Well, Russell, I know you have been through a huge ordeal, and my audience have asked me so many questions, and I put a list of questions together. I wanted to make sure that we went through all of these because I have probably hundreds of people who want to sign up to your program, but they're hesitant because they don't understand a lot of things. And I'm hoping that this interview can hone everything back down to a simple process and have everyone understand from my point of view, from your point of view, and then that they can move forward on it. So my first question to you is, if the process of becoming sovereign, from what I understand from others that I've, I've signed up to, now I have not become sovereign yet. I have not gone through your system fully yet. And I have not gone through these other systems fully yet. I've been hesitant, okay? But if the process of becoming sovereign is registering your assumed name by filing out a, a filling out a form in Minnesota to receive an ANC number for your certificate of good standing and the rest of it is all learning maritime and common law. Why do we need to give you our fingerprint and sign a contract with syntax grammar and go through all of all of these processes? So the first question is, what is the ANC number? Do you know anything about Minnesota? Why going under there? And then two, why do we have to give you our fingerprint and sign the syntax grammar information? Okay. Well, to answer your first question, I have no knowledge about what you're talking about with Minnesota. With the claim of the life system that I've created where you put your thumbprint and fingerprint and autograph stamps, and it's a, it's a little complex of a system for sure. What we've done is we've taken a look at the grammar and placed the claim of who you are in a now spaced tense so that you now have a position of neutrality in a war theater that has gone amok with the division and hatred theories and, and, and trying to drag us into other people's ideology. So it's a, it's more of a neutral position. And yes, it does require, you know, the, the thumbprint and, and, and joining a system. Well, I, I built a system that is, is, has global ramifications because of the grammar and because once you, um, get involved with what we're doing. Each person gets their own banking system. Each person gets their own uh, court system, judicial system through what we call the market trade port. We're doing a much better job now of putting teachers and structure behind what we're doing so that we have, you take a grammar writing syntax course so you learn how to write the contracts for yourself. I've built a system that 
it's not about me. It's just about mechanical administrative mechanics for their maritime meritocracies of admiralty and maritime jurisdictions that mm -hmm. they've set up for corporate structures. So it's a little bit different than what other people have done because I've, I've, I have found that the grammar contracts on a global level for banking and navigating contracts were done in fraudulent grammar in violation of Title 18, 1001. And so I structured that in a way to give a neutral, fair position for our fellow mankind. And the, the, I just want to let your audience know that the, the quantum banking system is we'll do away with finance on the planet, right? This will be more where the real wealth is what comes from within and the performance of the, the choices that we make in our mind and in our hearts to create performances. So this is more about accountability and less to do with the monetary structure because there's such abundance all over the world. Uh, it's very difficult in this, in this space and these days right now to open up a structure of financial wealth to the people. Number one, when the education is in place, is it in place? And number two, the main thing is there's so many. Would you start a bank with all the criminals running around? Would it be wise? No, because all of the banking systems are all criminal. Therefore, if you start your own bank, they will go after you. They will come after you. Well, we've set it up in a way where they can't because it's a, we've created a different jurisdiction that's never been looked at in the history of planet Earth. And so it, it, uh, fiction and fact could never meet. It's mm -hmm. like the separation point of oil and water, right? There's it, 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 there's a there's a there's a threshold of neutrality where it, where it, the vacuum of space comes by it, but then but then it separates. And okay, so, it's, so it's, it's a repelling system. I understand where you're coming from, but to hone it down towards my audience so that they can understand the 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 legal speak we have with English and the legal information on either maritime law or common law, one or the other, all of that information is basically a lie. And yes. it is designed to keep us under the thumb of Big Brother, the elites, the Illuminati, whatever you want to call them, but the people who got the control over the planet Earth. With your system, the grammar system, you wrote, and from my understanding, and help me with this, you wrote an easier way to stop the loopholes, stop the red tape, stop them from stealing from you by the the wording that you put together. Because I understand the if you read your syntax grammar from st from start A to start Z. The, the the entire thing is finished and there's no way anybody can take um, past time or future time to twist the, 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 the legalese in order to get their way. You had to figure out a quantum not, a sentence structure, not quantum sentence, but a syntax yes. sentence structure in order to stop them from their... They're 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 adding different words yeah. to make yeah. the system just easier for them to get around that. So you just simplified it so so that everyone can get their rights back. That that's is that really what you did? In a, in a nutshell, yes. We've looked at the prefixes and suffixes of words, so we simplified. We took out all the negative words, and we're really doing away with the negative concept of performance on contract. So we don't use like the word amend because anytime you start a word with a vowel followed by a consonant means no, and ed moves you into the past tense. So we just simply use the word instead of amend. We use the word correction. Mm -hmm. We do we do something a little bit different for those who come into the quantum banking system. We don't let them come in and do a deposit mm -hmm. because the prefix DE means to separate from. Mm -hmm. So we give them a posit for a position so they don't have no maintain control of the value that they're that they're delivering or warehousing or you know transshipping or giving it back to them or that sort of thing. So it's a much different perspective on the parse of words. And we've done a long, long study, you know, of all these negative words, and we've simplified it to easier content so that subjective interpretation and translation, other people can't 
do that to what you're doing or what you're claiming or your business or your your your, your equity of, of what you've gained off your business. So it's it's a it's a quanta, which is a pluralism, mm-hmm. down to the finite of the quantum of, of claiming your sovereignty of, of the space. So basically, there's a sentence. As you read a sentence in under English with legalese uh, under the laws of the land here and also maritime law, the 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 powers and the elite have designed the structures to either some say cast to spells and all others say to keep us um, locked into their system. But with with your grammar is, if I understand it correctly, you you removed all the spells. And yeah, with, you and you just put it back to caveman talk where we're yeah, like, get, you know, get all of the fancy crap out. You know, we're not we don't have our forks and our knives and everything set up for the fancy, you know, um, you know, legalistic you know way. You just took all of the all of the fancy words out and made it simple so that they can't bypass the with with their with their I guess you could just call it just devil speak. Well, you know, it's a strange thing you would bring this up. You know, in first grade, they teach us to, you know, who we are. They're telling us about who we are in communication with our alphabets and teaching us their their numerical systems and how to bring sentences together. But they say, you know, funny thing, this is how you sign your name and you always do it in cursive. Mm-hmm. And then you, once you start breaking down the word cursive, mm-hmm. it'll actually take you to the word necromancy. And necromancy is the black art of the communication of the dead. So right. they said oh, only dead people can be on contract. So I'm like, wait a minute. When I figured that out in 2003, I, I was involved in a case out in North Carolina. And I called the federal judicial system on that. And from there on out, when they were dealing with me specifically, they would only block print their name and type. They stopped using the cursive because they were comp cognizant that I was calling him on this communication of the dead, mm. that I was putting myself into a life position to be an actual tangible being with, you know, conscious soul and spirit within the vessel here, the vessel being the body, right? They, they make this all corporate through these straw man, nonsensical things that we've unfortunately all had to learn about, which right. is a crime against all of us. Most states in sheriff offices are now taking classes on bypassing the sovereignty movement saying basically it's a lie and sovereigns are just crazy i have personally seen many videos of people arguing sovereignty and losing to the power of the police and the court system we know big brother will find a way out but how do you approach this growing problem of the sheriffs and the judges now going uh standing up against the sovereignty movement well this is where we've taken a different position with the claim of the life so when and that's why we have to have the tangible paper Mm -hmm. so we take that tangible paper we put a cover letter on it and we file it on our driver's license number so that when we do get pulled over that we they already know that they have a neutral in front of them you mean we're talking about the fingerprinted part right the fingerprinted part where your fingerprints on it and my fingerprint is on this is it a is it a contract It's, it's it's a contract to claim life and to navigate in a neutral position within the now space okay so it's the first time neutrality is actually put on in your space to where and the and the we have found that we, we don't teach argue with the cops that's not our job our job is there to be neutral and peaceful and give full closure on contract that's the so, difference between the ones that I saw because they were basically saying I'm not I don't answer questions and then no, they no, say no. you know and then and then it, it provokes the cops so you you have a completely different system than what yeah. we're actually seeing on on online and I'm starting to think that the other some of the other sovereign mo- movements not all are actually CIA driven to get you okay. out of the picture. Because every time I've talked to you, everything seems to be just nice and smooth and easy, but it's still a very, it's still a very difficult process to understand. Because when you, when you mentioned the time and time and space, dude, you, you just threw me off. Like as a, yeah. as a normal person walking the earth, trying to earn a living, I'm like, what, what, what is the now space? So this, this. I, I'm trying to figure out how to hone your system down and get people to understand it just so clearly within one sentence to say, yes, 
this is important for my life, my family, my future, and and literally to save the world from these vampires that are out there sucking our money through taxes and corporations and 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 using our countries for their advantage. Yeah, they so use, they're, go, go they're ahead. Using, they're using the grammar against you guys, right? So they know my quantum grammar system, right? They've yeah. I've known so they yeah. so they know they don't have to perform in contract because they can manipulate the words into anything they want. Right. So they come in with might makes right because the citizens globally are not being able to define and claim their words. What we're doing a little bit different, as you know, instead of having this antagonistic vibe with the with the public safety officers out here, as we're coming in and we when you get a claim of the life, we put people into postmaster groups on each continent. We have postmaster groups going all over the place so that we teach them how to take more of a neutral neutral position within this shipping containment of of the transportation of movement and so the transportations of movement get their authorization from their country's postal structure in a pyramid form and i restructure that on a global level for the citizens of the world to be more of a be what i call in the world but not of the world I, 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 I understand. I understand what you're saying. I totally understand what you're saying. The average person again will go, whoa. Um, all I know is that they're using words against me and I need to learn a better way to stand up for myself through this grammar. Now you're talking about other, uh, post offices and a hierarchy of yeah. control system yeah, you're it's, it's, it's i i i want to let let's that's all the yeah. stuff i love to hear personally yeah. let's let's dive in dude i will sit down and i will write an algorithm in my head and that will make all sense <laughs> to me but to the average person russell yeah. you i think you're very 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 smart and we need i personally need to figure out a way to, to get this stuff back down to the basics so the average person can stand up for their rights in 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 a, in, sure. in this system. Yeah. You and I know what happened. We we know that throughout the course of the history of the world there have been ruling families, just call them families, ruling families that have taken sovereignty and freedom away from the people in the form of all kinds of isms or ocracies or any type of uh, way of governing people. And through those ways, they've manipulated through words and sentence structures and contracts. And, and what you have built what is something that bypasses all of that, gets down to the basic simple thing of, I am a free sovereign individual on this earth and you can't force me to do anything against my will period and that's what yeah. your grammar says as you understand it and read it and i want to make sure that when people hear of russell hyphen j colin gould and his work on the the syntax grammar and the quantum uh, uh, the quantum financial system, which is not the QFS that everyone's talking about with Q and all that. That's all of that is CIA bunk crap, just crap. Oh, yeah. And I think I honestly, I think that Q and all of that was all designed to take your movement of the Q quantum banking system that you came up with to yeah. get to get to get people off of you and the sovereignty movement and getting back to the grammar because your system if it's if it's real and i want it to be real russell i like you i think you're a great guy i want this to be real if exactly. it is real then this is the fall the real fall of the cabal yeah, the I real think. fall of the cabal of taking out the entire structure through basic simple standing on our rights through 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 a real grammar uh sentence structure that we can say all of the spells are out, all of the the this or that's or does or the you know, all of the 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 legal speak that we don't need. And it just says, stop stealing my money. <laughs> stop yeah. putting me in jail for something I didn't do. You know, or, and, and, and or or you can change and say, This is the way I'm going to choose to conduct my life. This is the way I'm going forget say talking about what they're doing. 
Let's, right. not, let's forget about what they're doing. They're not doing nothing. Let's focus on what you're doing for yourself. Okay. What you're doing for yourself is you're taking your goods, your equity, and you're putting them in a now space position to where it's only yours in the now space. And you're not enjoying it with any ideologies and any concepts of somebody's agenda from the past because you, oh, you're the best judgment of your life. You're the judge of your life. Mm-hmm. You, you're the easiest person to fool is yourself. Right. And so you've got you've got to learn how to have a moral compass on not to do that. Okay, so, so the, the 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 now space again, people will be like, "Well, what's this now?" You know, we I want to hone it back down. Love you, bud. I just want to hone it back down to make sure people understand what the now space is. Real simply, in legal speak, under contracts, under uh, common law, maritime law, they can get you on a future or a past in the grammar um, and, and lock you up or, or fine you for future or past. And what, what, what Russell did was he just made a simple uh, way of saying everything is in now and you can't, you can't, you can't put me in jail or uh, charge me money uh, or scam me because of something in the future or in the past period. So now space is you can't uh, bypass with legalese to lie or cheat or steal to get around uh, what they do normally in uh, under you know maritime common law is, it, is that correct? Yeah, it's it's basically cracking the harness of the space or time, right? And 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 being able to look to preset the facts with the prepositional phrase. You're presetting the facts. Mm-hmm. And now we can look at and look at the hard feelings of hey, facts don't have feelings. So what conveyed the facts? What was the condition of choice mm-hmm. that caused the facts to, to happen? Right. And, and so now we can really break down the condition of mind and, and make, make, make a choice as whether we want to join with that condition of mind that created a hardship or a harm on my family or a slow kill through all the, the agendas that are running to, to depopulate the planet that we all mm. are very cognizant of everybody's <laughs> watching this how could you not from the mercury amalgams in your teeth from the chemtrails from the plastics in our food from the manipulation of fluoride and the uh, stuff in our water i mean it's just a nonsensical thing who's in charge well who's mm-hmm. in charge or are nefarious what's really cool james and i want you to think about this is sure fiction eats fiction so As the banking families have their henchmen, being their generals and admirals, right? And they do all this work to make sure that their agendas are moving smoothly through through years and years and years. As that generation gets old enough to now stop and now receive the retirement fees and the the funding for that, and the new generals and admirals are brought up under the senior executive councils, now we get to – the system gets to roll those generals under the bus – Mm-hmm. Because they don't want them to get paid either, because that's not very beneficial, right? Because they've mm-hmm. been promised a lot of money. So now the the general fiction starts eating fiction. So now the generals start getting. All of a sudden, you see a news flash here and a news flash here. And courts they use what do they use to get everybody? The court systems. And now the court systems now are peering into old business deals, and they separate themselves magically. The bad guys do real bad guys on the back mm-hmm. end. So the generals are out, left there all by themselves, right, out to dry. And now the system gets to eat them. So the general public is going to get a real chance now. To watch the system eat itself. It's but doing it-, it right now. Remember when we were talking about earlier about you? You told me in our last interview that the 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 powers that be are shifting wealth from the west to the east. That's happening in real time as we speak. I am seeing it because I I would have never thought we would have open borders like we do currently. And and it, and you'll I did the research, Russell. From 2015 up until now, and I I looked on CBS, CNN, all of the the you know fake news media. They literally um, from state to state, not just look up just you know as a whole. But I went to Texas, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, and California, and since 2015 up until today, 40 million people have crossed the border, whether they're migrants or whatever. Oh. I did the research and I'm 40, 40 I'm million, 40 million. So open borders is one thing bringing in an army is another. So well, I, I'm just so concerned about 
the fact that it is the 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 east is is coming back up it's rising its power the 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 prophecies of uh, the the asian uh dragon is here now and it, and it seems to be happening and it seems the west or our uh our own government is allowing this to happen it's not they're not putting up a fight i'm not seeing them put up a fight right well, it's 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 a military operation the military is doing this on purpose with a volition now we have traitors that have taken over our military and are letting this happen right we have we have a lack of courage and gutless generals and admirals right. in the past who have followers behind them that don't have the t- the testicular fortitude to get up and do something about it because they're afraid of the, what will happen to them, the repercussions, mm-hmm. because they don't comprehend life, liberty, and the freedom of happiness. Mm-hmm. And their families get to suffer too, right. or they've all vacated out of here. So it's a real, it's a real, and you know, it started, believe it or not, when you when you create division, a division of thinking. So what happens when you when you advertise to the world that you're putting up a wall, right? What what is that really designed to do? Because there's two sides of that. Right? Yeah, so that, I never thought yeah, about yeah, it that way. Yeah. yeah what yeah, what are you saying when you're putting up a wall? Are you saying, yeah, hey, I'm I'm a xenophobe, I'm a you're racist? I don't, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say what it is. I just have to look because I'm a I'm a guy that really believes in you know looks at magnetism in space. Mm-hmm. And and I, I know there's a push and a pull, right? And so when you know that there's a push and a pull and you set up a, a an ideology or a concept of a wall, mm-hmm. you're creating division. Right. But we're supposed to be here to be love our fellow mankind, to give to our fellow mankind, to give everybody a hand up, to not be a dream killer for people, to, to be be a, a, an aid in whatever aspect of your community that you can be to your loved ones, to your mm-hmm. neighbors, to your friends. And, and when you put up a wall, you're creating a, a subliminal function in our minds <laughs> that 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 there is there. So what if they let everybody in and then they finish and put up the wall and finish that thing? Now, can we get out? <laughs> yeah, right. It's like, what is it one way or two way? Right. Uh, yeah. So I have a different pers- thought mechanic going on in my mind about that. I would have never done that. Instead, should have went down to the, the southern countries and the countries in the east. Instead of dropping bombs and sending your clown squad CIA contractors in there, why didn't we build structure? Build utopias mm-hmm. with the, the abundance of wealth that's everywhere in the world where we don't have to mind the world. Where we can stabilize matter, in, and they know the powers we know all these conversations. They know mm-hmm. it perfectly well. Why didn't we build utopias in other places? Teach moral values. Teach, you know, correctness. Well, you and of, I know the you and I know the answer yeah. to that. It's simple. They're psychopath, religious nut jobs who are trying to build their utopia and bring in their God to rule over everyone. Got it. Honestly, I've been telling everybody, because even though I personally, I'm a pastor and my, my, my background is Christianity. However, I've been telling people that if it doesn't matter if we are religious or not, the people that actually have the money are, and you need to realize that because those elite are taking their money and they're listening and praying to ghosts. And those ghosts are telling them to do depopulation, to kill 95% of everyone on earth. And they believe it and they're going through with it. So it doesn't even matter if I if I was Christian or Muslim or any other religion. These people who run the world are psychopathic crazy nut jobs and and we have to maybe hopefully by using your program stand up to them and get the rights back and 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 stand firm and have the balls and not be afraid anymore because nice. that that's we're we're drugged to the max one third if not two third of us are on antidepressants i mean we we are literally just walking zombies and yet even me personally, I am on antidepressants, but I don't feel like I'm under the spell of these elites, right? So I agree with you. I love what you're doing. What you're doing is important. It just needs to be easier for people to understand. And, and hopefully we can, we can you know, work on that and get it so that people can not have we, to freak out about going to, to college again. <laughs> yeah, what, what we've done is we've set up uh, study groups, phone calls all over the world. And they're happening dang near every night. 
And as they happen, people are being able to field questions and get the answers to make their heart and their comfort. And, and then people are hearing, you know, what worked and what didn't work, right? Because there's, you know, when you enter into sovereignty, it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's up to you to navigate that, right? Because you're the sovereign, you're the power of the one, mm -hmm. right? And so you, so you have to have at least the the wisdom on no what fights choose your battlefield wise, wise, right? Be wise on how you choose your navigation. And then, and then I really challenge the citizens of the world to do their due diligence. We have due diligence in business is not taught very well. No. And so people, so, 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 so people are getting caught up in other people's systems. And, you know, you were expressing earlier about some sovereignty movements where, you know, the, the leaders of this and that, they're getting, I, I don't know anything about that because I don't focus on what other people do. I focus on being a good spirit in my now space and blessing those around me in the now. And mm -hmm. I really don't give a dang about the fake presidents. And that's all theater. I, if you come to D.C. with me and go to the U.S. Supreme Court, find out that it's I have not lied. I've spoken truthfully and honestly. Mm -hmm. and they know. Right. And so I don't have to get up and pump my chest over it, this and that. I just simply walk in the door, and, you know. Just to keep this down. clear, when you said that it's all theater, you really mean that it is theater, meaning those are actors, Trump, Biden, all of them, actors. They all work for the elite, period. Well, well, who knows who they are? I mean, when you look at these actors that are in place now and you look at pictures of them from the past or a few years ago, and then you look at the chemistry of what they look like now. I mean, it almost looks like a bad CGI show put on by Hollywood. Totally. Right? Because, be, be, because you can't, they don't look the same. They and don't. I'm, I, and I'm not pointing fingers and bashing anyone. I'm just exactly. saying, hey, if I'm a someone that's hands-on guy mm -hmm. that works for a living. And, and, and I'm like, oh, that doesn't. And you look at the facial features and you, you see this and that. I'm like, what in the world is, but this is, you know, this is, you know, it's a bad trip for people no mm. doubt about it. But, but I don't look at those guys. I look at what's happening around me and okay. if around me. I have love, kindness, happiness. People are thriving all over the place. There's giving people are sharing people are learning how to communicate and people are learning that, Hey, we have a moral compass to our fellow mankind. Just as we do every day when we drive down the road and we're driving down the road, going in the opposite direction of someone, we don't swerve over to the other lane and hit them. Right, so we have a moral compass to our fellow mankind to be the best neighbors, the best, most giving, the most kind, the most loving person that, that you can be. I do comprehend that, you know, chemistry and the things, the slow kill and the manipulation of the social engineering and the, and the, you know, the public podcasters. And I mean, it's just a, it's a massive quantum tanglements and massive in scope that is derived from breaking down. Everybody is looking at that instead of taking a look from within. Well, because you were talking about your your uh, your followers and how they're happy and they're they're just set free by your system. And I I have to personally say um, your followers they they stick up for you. Believe me, because when when I was criticizing some of your your processes, and I was, and not not to be a bad guy, because I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I don't know yeah. if you really were uh, tortured for you know sixty days by the by the CIA. And again, we that was in the other interview. But again, I'm like, I don't know this guy, but yeah. dude, they really do stand up for you. And they they they're like they it was like a mob coming after me. It's like you be <laughs> nice to the chief, you know. You apologize, apologize. I'm like, whoa. Uh, well, and then I I sent a response saying, you know, calm down. You know, well, they they they, they know how much I love mankind and they know how happy i am to be around people you know you asked an interesting question like why aren't you on these big podcasts why aren't you going for the numbers if you knew me as just a just a day-to-day -day person you would know that i i'm the guy that you know appreciates a good waitress tips them well i'm, I'm a guy that stands up for the hard workers out here because i am that guy Right? I'm a very hard worker myself, and I, and, I, and I I put real value in to not taking shortcuts, to put quality work out there. And my, the, the claimants and the sovereigns that are within the quantum banking system, the quantum parallel system that I'm, that I've, that's been set up, mm -hmm. they're living that out. You know, and they learn to really not so much point fingers at me, but I challenge people to really look from within. 
from within and, and the choices that you make because there's, there, there's, there's thoughts that come into our mind. And so mm-hmm. we have to capture those thoughts and, and, to, and to really do a due diligence, which is, mm, it's, this, this is what's part of the problem with the quantum, all the people that are trying to copy me, is mm-hmm. that they, the, they were not there. They're looking at a, a th- things and they're ticking and they're trying to make their own vector. And hey, I'm not going to be judgmental of that. But at the end of the space, there's a volition and the, there's a, the real the factual thing when I say I'm the last flag standing, right? I did things. I've been around the world and I put those, those, my foot in the sand and my flag staff in the, in the ground and, and then moved it through the sea of the space. And you know, I was able to figure out a lot of things, been very blessed with a, you know, with a good mind and, and a good memory and was able to, to do things. A very humbling thing. You know, you could be the greatest path postmaster in the, in the world and you could lose everything that meant anything to you. So that that's what you are. You're you are because there, there's other dudes are, that are out there. Um, I don't I don't want to mention their names, but they're up there yeah. saying I am the su- it, 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 big, big word, supreme leader, postmaster uh, of the universe. You know, it's, it seems like that they're. They, they're trying to be above you. And I recognize from our last interview that those people actually attended your your conferences. So what does yeah. that mean when they say they're the postmaster and you say you're the postmaster? What's the truth? Well, I just look at the rules of the contingents of evidence and where it all came from. And I know that none of them were around when corporate structures and policies were set up, right? Okay. And they all come in like 10, 15 years after the fact. And now they're claiming to be that. So mm-hmm. it's pretty fascinating to watch. And mm-hmm. I, again, I challenge the citizens of the world to do their own due diligence. I'm not going to point thrones or throw stones at other people, but you're going to know them by their fruits. You're going to know them by the fruits of what they what they bear. So I'm confident in the claimants of who love life, who love themselves, who love their families, their families that join our system. And I'm really confident on how they're they're learning how to navigate, be their own sovereigns, and and but they don't comprehend. And they know they love me. Because I don't judge them. Mm-hmm. I'm just only a witness and say, well, this is what I've, the memory and the past of what I've done in the now space. And, and this is what can be used for you. And, and, and I share with them the tools and the people are, you know, they, they love me and I love them. And, but, but, you know, and they comprehend me a little bit more because I, you know, I've, I draw a pretty tough line. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, and, and I, you know, and I, if I tell people, you know, I'm a nice guy and, and I, all the people that hang around me, I'm like, look, if all of a sudden you see me f- knocking, the, you know, getting in a, in a fight uh, and it looks real nasty, know that I found the enemy, right? I'm not at war with the people of the world. I give a damn about what they're doing with their sovereignty movements. I could give a damn about what they say about me. I don't care. They don't know me. They've never walked a day in my shoes. They've never walked through the doors that I've been through. They, now they're using all my work, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, we're right. But 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 they don't know me. You're right. right. They, they, they don't know me. And then you know they go and they they meet somebody and they stay with them for three days and that person spins them up and now they know that person. And here I've had relationships with those people for twenty some years. Where well, I I, with me. I mean it's just a wild thing to watch. I can attest to your character just by the beginning of our first interview and then uh, like I think it's been probably nine months since since then. And in between there, I have had some criticism towards you and you have come back and approached me in a very kind manner and you have not been defensive at all all and i i can personally say that the proof is in the pudding there i see it personally that you although i criticized you in your process you still came back with kindness so yeah you proved it to me to me it's about humility and kindness and i want i want people to you know i get attacked i don't even like to go to public speaking events because people are always on the attack on me and, uh, and some of these yeah, that's people, what I wanted to bring uh, up next. <laughs> I, and, I'm like, I, and I'm like, wait a minute. You know, it's, it's, you've never, you don't know me. Don't, I, I, I make a choice not to be judgmental on people or tr- say things bad about people because I'm not their dream killer. 
right? I, I, I don't let that green killing in my space because I love life. And I love people and I, I love what I do. But you're their enemy, Russell. You're, you're the enemy of the CIA, NSA, FBI, federal government, all of those because no. you and, and, and let, let, let's get let's get into what happened, because this I saw a very disturbing video. And the video showed you and a gentleman by the name of Derek Johnson, who's a supposed truth, met with Trump, um, believes in the documents.info as proof that he's the commander in chief. And you were at a truther conference with him. And I saw uh, Derek jumping up and down in hysterics, yelling at you for what I have no idea. And finding that video now is really tough, by the way. But you were coming back and it looked like it was getting heated where there's going to be a brawl. I would love to hear your side of the story on that. Yeah. Well, I went to a conference where I sat down and I did something a little different. I opened my ears and I listened to everybody. I did not pass judgment about what they were saying. I just listened. And it was when it was my chance to speak, I spoke spoke truthfully and honestly about factual things that people cannot get around, right? And then they came out, did what they did, turned off my mic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And did what they did. So as far as attacking me and jumping so they down, you were set up. From what uh, I yeah. understand from from our, sure. our prior conversations, you <laughs> I think Derek Johnson's working for maybe the bad guys because the way he tore into you, look, let me just tell you from, from my point of view. At first, when I saw it, I'm like, dude, Russell's being a dick. That's what I thought. And then I look over at Derek. I'm like, Derek's being a dick, okay? And then then I'm looking at it, and then after speaking with you and how you approached it and told told me the, the, whole, the, the entire story, I'm thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. This Derek guy... He was being way more hysterical than you were. And I it really now, as I look at it, looks like it was a complete setup to rile you up to get you angry. Do you think that that was set up to, to put you in, in the bad light? Well, I can tell you this. I have been in thousands of court cases where the physicality level for myself has been very high, where the pressure... And the hatred towards that concept of being in the now space was out of fervor that the, the judicial systems of the world trained me. I want you to think about that for a second. What does that actually mean? Well, it means a lot mechanically. But, but let's put that aside. You mean the, the judicial what? system trained you? You mean, are you talking about brainwashing? I'm talking about how to keep it even keel. Okay. To, for, to forgive those who don't know what they're saying. To forgive those who are angered towards a position that was taken. Right? Don't throw, and so they, so they train me to be level-headed during high confrontational situations. Wait, they who? The, be the federal ju judicial system, the judges. The, okay. Screaming and yelling at me in the courtrooms. I mean, you, okay, so you're, if, you're, if you've... Okay, so you're... If you've... If you're you've training yourself get, to calm down and not get... Yeah, because I want to be even keeled before I speak. Mm -hmm. That way I don't look like a clown. And number and number two, that I measure my words in a way, and that's why sometimes my videos I get off on tangents. And I would be, because there's a lot going on up here, and I'm just being honest, you know. That's what I want to figure out is why did, yeah. why did you go on a tangent while Derek was attacking you? Do, what, do you feel well, like he set yeah. you up? Oh, for sure. Yeah, and I don't really know. You have to comprehend. I don't know those people. And so when they're huffing and puffing and, and then afterwards, the next day when we showed up, they wouldn't let my teams in. And then they had Mexican mafia cartel on the outside in a room. They told me they're going to give me 20 minutes to speak. And do they have all these big giants in there to come, come get me? Wait, whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mexican cartel mafia. Yeah. My team saw them and they were standing there with the people. Yeah. So I don't, I don't what really are care. They doing there? <laughs> Hey, I, that makes well, no sense. No, not not against you. What you're saying, I'm saying, I what, don't care. You know, is this like, is this you know, is the cartel involved in uh, I, the military government? They're using the cartel. What that I, is I, bizarre. I, it was bizarre. You know, and my 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 guy identified it. Come running up and said, "Chief, you got to you got to get out of here, bro. This is not good." Hmm. And so I so I left peacefully and quietly and neutrally. 
you know, I, I didn't, I came there to learn and to have an open mind. There was wonderful speakers. Mm-hmm. And, and actually one of the, the main financiers for that event uh, has actually got a claim to the life with me, moved his whole medical business over into quantum grammar and is a real good student of mine now. And From so that event. I, wow. The guy that financed it. Wow. Is actually, yeah, got, he was so apologetic once because he felt the energy in them. He doesn't know me. Yeah. I was not, I was not judged. So the guy that actually financed that whole thing actually has a claim of the life with me running his business through the quantum grammar system now. And so through his market trade port, learning how to set that up. So I'm very blessed to have him just really um, see who I am as a, as, as a man and uh, not get wild up. But I am, I would be probably the number one guy in the world to take to a, a global, tr- if you have to have treaty between warring factions, I'm the guy to bring to the table because of my skill sets uh, of being neutral and peaceful and listen and having the willingness to listen to everybody's needs before I speak. Mm-hmm. And so I, I did demonstrate that some of that there as, as they turned off my mic and I just let them pummel away and it's, it's, you know, get out whatever they felt they needed to. But I don't keep that crystalline energy and I have to forgive that space because those people actually think there's a president. They think what? That. There's a president. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of like, that's old news, right? So really old problem. news, right? Oh, yeah. Because... Yeah. That, that ended in 1999. Right. And that's when they, and that's when they did the Florida Chads, right? And so they had, once they did that and they moved the elections to the court systems, mm. now they just did away with all the guidelines because there was no constitution in place to regulate how to elect a leader. Right. And so, and so now they can steal from here on out and it's okay. Right. If the general public wants to believe in all that, I, I totally believe in the spirit of the Constitution and the Bill of the Rights. I believe in that spirit. But the grammar on there and the banking contract ended. And for those of you that got the security clearance, 1775, Benjamin Franklin, it's a, it's a phenomenon. Go read his bank books. Oh, you mean none of the patriots have authorization to walk in the door? Well, that's going to okay. be a problem. Again. That's gonna be a, it's going to be a real problem. You bringing that up is another thing that people go, oh, my God, now what do I need to learn? You know, I mean, there's just so much that have been robbed from us. And I want yes. people to understand that, guys, we <laughs> here's the deal. If we would have been going to school 200 years ago, we would have learned just so much in just history and how to write different languages, et cetera. What we learn in school is equivalent to a second grade, third grade, maybe if you're lucky, a fourth grade ed- education. And that's it. That yeah. we we haven't gone beyond that. So we've been dumbed down on purpose because they want us to be slaves to the system of the birth certificate contract that our parents signed away to us at birth through necromancy. Now, that's where all of the problems arised from. If it, and 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 that goes back to 1775 and 1776. So, can you explain to people in a very simple way so that I can understand it? Like I'm ordering a cheeseburger and fries. Okay, simple. I just can you give it to me and talk to me like I'm a seven year old. What happened in 70, 1775 and 1776 where we lost our sovereignty rights and they stole our birth certificate and our name? Benjamin Franklin was a triple agent working for several governments. And as a triple agent, he was in charge of the meetings. So he's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. Let's just say he's a bad guy. From what the journals showed, he was playing a lot of things in the middle to make his ends meet and have his lifestyle that he chose to live. The borrowing of money in 1775 allowed this, what happened in 1776 to happen. Now I have no clue in 1776, if the people that went on contract for those papers knew of the money trail from 1775. I just know that I was given the chance to go through Benjamin Franklin's private books and voila, this is what I found. Right. So, okay. Of- here's where the proof is. Cause I, I, I wanted to figure out where, where's all the proof of this stuff with the birth certificate, et cetera. And, and forgive me for, inter- for intervening, sure. but I, I, again, I know my audience and how they think 
you got a chance to sit down and read all of Benjamin Franklin's uh, biography, not biography, but um, all of his uh, his notes, yeah. right? And I'm you, the and, pardon? I'm the, post, I'm the postmaster general. It's my role. Okay. Okay. So were you able to, I hate to ask this question, but were, were you able to photograph any of it or, you know, get any uh, evidence I, from it or? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, they, uh, well, I've, there's evidence in place. Yes. Okay. Well, that's good news. Because yeah, honestly, they, that that's the they, thing we and, need. And, and the nice thing is, that me, I can go back anytime I want. I just haven't been back there. It's on the East Coast, and mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of going to the cities. And as you can see by my background, I'm more into the. Uh, I think they're going to start rounding up the patriots. To be honest, and they're going to go to FEMA the, camps. This is the, where we're going. This is where I'm going to. This is where it's going to show about the last flag standing. This is this is the point where it shows. And this is the part that I'm concerned about is the Patriot community is going to get pissed off at me mm -hmm. because I'm allowed to continue on and they're not. Well, what and do you mean by that? Continue on after what event? Well, I don't know the event. I okay. have no clue. I have no clue how that okay. works. I just know they're writing in fiction grammar and fiction grammar is going to destroy fiction grammar. That's all I know. Take it, feed, take, take it for whatever you want. Take it for whatever you want. I don't, I don't even care. Okay. Take it for what, take the feedback or whatever you want. That's okay. why I'm seeing it from my, my, from what I've built. Fiction will destroy fiction. I understand exactly what you're saying. My thought process when, when you were saying that is when the, when they start rounding up the Patriots, like if they do, because we know, Patriots are are the enemy of the of Washington D.C. Period. Oh, yeah. We know this. So if they're if they decide that they're going to round up the Patriots, you know, it, it, during a civil war, wherever, perhaps it's best to get locked in this this syntax grammar with with you and what you're doing. Maybe if we held up that that agreement of being sovereign, maybe the the generals or whoever maybe they can't they can't put us in the fema camps that's the whole volition here we have is when you come to the workshops you get a whole protocol on how to deal with them at the door how to uh, but they don't come to the door because everything's already set up through your step seven of getting your claim of the life with taking the claim of the life itself and already alerting the useries of you know of our day-to-day -day shipping containment that we're in and I, I wish it wasn't a shipping containment, mm -hmm. but it's just what it is, is they're directing the movement of, of and they look at everybody as goods and cargo. Oh, okay. There, will you allow me another interview, please? Yes. I have yes. What? more questions and this interview is, is long already. Where can people find you and sign up for you? So the, the best way to find me is at for the claim of the life .com. That's F O R the claim of the life.com for the claim of the life.com for yes, the can, claim okay and i'll, and I'll they, put it up on a, a yeah. so people can see it and they can also go to lastflagstanding.com and watch some of the videos as well as piercingdynasty.com and uh, warcastles.com warcastles.com piercingdynasty.com yeah that was a documentary that i did uh, a year ago Oh, okay. Now, that's a different perspective on Last Flag Standing, more of a, a neutral position, just giving the general public more closure. You know, I'm a hard guy to find, and I encourage everyone to do their due diligence, you know, and, and really try to get along with your fellow mankind as the bombardment. I challenge everyone, and I challenge myself. I never let anyone tell me who to hate. Mm. That's that's really crucial to me. I, mm -hmm. I go I, I go meet the people and we have put our needs out on the table and we take that real more of a neutral approach on getting to solutions for whatever matters are, are at, at hand. Mm. So it's a much different perspective. Yeah. Wow. Well, Russell, thank you for your time. My eyes are open from the last time we spoke and in the middle of when we spoke up until now. I haven't understood the big picture. I think it's because I had just, you know, that that brainwash mentality of thinking that someone's going to come save us. And literally, after speaking with you today, I believe that it's on. We're we're on our own. We need to learn our rights. 
This is probably the best way to go when it comes to a university of understanding your rights, especially internationally. If yeah, we, if we get attacked by China or Russia or anything else, we need to, we need some paperwork to show yes. them because they're going to ask you papers. Where's your papers? If you show them maybe Russell's paperwork, you may get a shot at not getting your head chopped off or killed because war is war is war. It'll never stop. There will never be peace. We have to figure out how to be sovereign. And I think this is the good way to go. Communication is the key. And once you can take the translations, say you get attacked by a different country, not mm -hmm. saying it's going to happen, but mm -hmm. say it does. Now, all of a sudden, when they show up to the door, you're, you've got it translated in Chinese for them. Cool. Or you got a chance, uh, or you got to translate it in Russian. Right. So now, now you're showing a position of neutrality in a foreign language, and you're not being a combatant because they will. People honor when you learn their languages. They they know that you've taken the time to have your due diligence to to learn about their culture in a in a very neutral manner. Mm. I'm not in favor, and I do not favor any invasions on any lands. I am for the people of this land and for this country and for for our former country, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But we have got a serious concern here with there being a borderless situation to where we don't know what's it's been very it's like there's little kids running the show mm -hmm. and the little the little kids have toys and the toys are serious toys <laughs> and, 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 the, and these little kids are really causing it's a public safety hazard and it's a national security threat to every neighborhood every every <laughs> Every person that was born on this continent, it's a, it's a, it's a national security threat. But the good news is, is we, we can use the prepositional phrases to preset the facts and put the f where we don't put the facts on trial because the facts stand what they were. These, these uh, people allowed this to happen. And now we can ask them what their condition of mind was. And now we get into the real, the real fun of breaking down the condition of mind. I really don't want to get into that here because it's yeah, we, complex, but right. uh, very thankful for your chance to come on your show. I hope your audience uh, does go before the claim of the life.com and takes a serious look at and joins the postmaster study groups and really uh, opens their eyes and their foundation for their loved ones, their families and uh, blessings on your audience and blessings to everyone. listening. Russell hyphen J Colin Gould. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. I'm going to have all of your information posted up and people can can go see you. Thank you very much. This has been Cause Before Symptom. I'm your host, James Carner. Tune in to me tomorrow to see what else we can drum up. God bless, and we'll see you then.